Kanakawa Corporation, owners of From Software and Acquire, has been hacked. Hackers threatened to release 1.5 terabytes of data on July 1st if ransom is not paid. And this ransom that they're asking for is $8 million. Now, in the grand scheme of things, $8 million isn't necessarily, like, a lot to a big corporation like Kanakawa, especially when you take a look at, like, the stuff that just anime alone they're associated with as a producer. This is not including gaming, manga, etc. But even then, let's just say in a hypothetical realm that Kanakawa was to secretly pay this $8 million dollar ransom that this group is asking for th that group is not technically obligated to give that 1.5 terabyte of data back they could just turn around and grab the money run and still release the data on monday so katakawa is in a very bad spot now before we go any further when i saw this information this morning come out i was just in absolute shock now it seems like the the information is starting to circulate around the main news and stuff everybody is now starting to cover it more people are becoming a little bit more aware of it because i just found out about this literally just a few hours ago but let's uh let's just dive head first into like a bunch of stuff that's been going on and kind of get all the information together so katakawa is a pretty big company. I feel like anyone that has any form of knowledge, let's just say in the anime and manga community, definitely recognizes the name. They are associated with some pretty big stuff, like with light novels to just anime producers, etc. They're massive. They are absolutely massive as a corporation, at least when it comes to anime and manga, but the fact that they are associated with FromSoft alone is another huge like jaw-dropping moment, because Everybody, regardless if you don't like Elden Ring or care about, like, FromSoft or Dark Souls, whatever, you probably heard about it, because just alone as of late with the release of the DLC of Elden Ring and all that with the stream with Kai and a bunch of other people talking about the series, you probably have heard about Elden Ring to some degree. Even if you want to avoid it entirely. Unless you just live under a rock and you just don't go on the internet. It has been a massive talking point in the internet space for a while now. And so, the fact that Katakawa, which is the owners of FromSoft and Acquire, got hacked and had 1.5 terabytes of data stolen, that's huge information, because obviously the first thing that people are going to think about when they see this information that comes out, they're going to be like, huh, I wonder if this Katakawa hack is going to give us info on maybe future projects that maybe game companies that Katakawa have under their belt, like for instance From Software, will we find out if, let's say, there's a Bloodborne remaster coming to PC, is there going to be another DLC for Elden Ring in the works, etc, etc, cancelled projects, you know, this is obviously what people are going to instantly gravitate their mind to when they see this information this morning. Now, to be fair, it makes sense, I'm not gonna lie, I thought about that as well when I saw this information come out, I was like, huh, I wonder if we're gonna get information about maybe a Bloodborne release on PC or something, or a Bloodborne 2 or whatever, but obviously, pushing that aside, we need to look at the serious matter at hand of what this really does mean. So for one, obviously, that 1.5 terabyte of data that was stolen, that's about two to three AAA games in terms of actual download space, but pushing the joke aside, 1.5 terabytes of data is massive when you consider exactly what was actually stolen by this hacker group. This hacker group just straight up stole not just, let's say, like, information on game releases or whatever, or light novel releases or anime releases... They stole encrypted emails, they stole personal data, they stole company secrets, they stole potentially NDAs, like certain secrets with NDAs, etc. They probably have stolen, like, just a bunch of different little details of, like, just exchanges between employees and personal information, maybe tax information, etc., which can be very damaging, not just to, let's say, the company of Katakawa and other companies associated with them, but the very employees that associate with this company as at major risk. For instance, like, if you have associated with this company at all, you legitimately could potentially have your data leaked, like, your personal information of, let's say, your name, the date of birth, to maybe even, like, at the equivalent of, like, your social security number or something, or, like, your, just any form of data could theoretically be leaked out because it is completely vague exactly everything they fully stole, but the point of the matter is, is that 1.5 terabytes of data is massive when, obviously, they're not downloading a whole freaking game. They're not downloading games. They're just, they're, they're literally getting emails and stuff, and the fact that you have that much data, that's crazy what they potentially would release if they are going to release it this upcoming July 1st. Now, will it happen? Who knows? I mean, obviously, they've gained the information, and even if they theoretically got the 8 million, doesn't necessarily mean that they, like I said at the beginning of the video, can honor the request of actually giving the data back. They could still just release it, so... It's all around just really, really bad. Now, what you see on the screen here is apparently how, um, 
how the actual hacker group and using the ransomware got into the uh, the stuff of Katakawa and actually managed to get all the control and information they got. Like it says it here on screen, they were able to basically get into the infrastructure of Katakawa because it was basically a mess and not well organized. And this brings up another big thing to talk about, and that is just companies not really having good cybersecurity. Now, to be fair, cybersecurity it's it's hard to protect against everything, especially when you have hundreds and potentially thousands of employees. You can't protect against everything that that is a given like, like I'm gonna be completely blunt there. there there's definitely issues and you know things that come up that can cause glitches or problems within the system but the thing is is a lot of these companies especially I know probably Japanese companies or just countries you know certain countries around the world they don't take cybersecurity as seriously as they should. I mean, the, the same can be said for American companies as well, and there's a lot of companies that just straight up get hacked because they don't invest in cybersecurity, but we've definitely seen a lot of stuff like this happen in Japan. Like, let's think of Sony. Sony is a very good example of what happened with PlayStation, and so when you see this, it's just like, I don't know why these companies have just such sensitive data, and they legitimately do not protect it properly like obviously the reason why companies don't do it is because obviously with the new age of technology and cybersecurity being a big thing nowadays all these companies don't realize they really need to invest in that type of stuff but i know for a fact there's probably a lot of like it workers and people that work in cybersecurity that are probably rolling over and just extremely upset with this situation because it probably could have been very well avoided if katakawa would have maybe have spent a little bit of extra few thousand dollars maybe a hundred thousand dollars or whatever just to actually have proper security for their systems but with what coulda shoulda woulda type thing could have happened it doesn't change the fact that it has happened and a lot of sensitive data has clearly been you know stolen now once again, what this information could come about, like what it could actually release, as you can see here, it has like, you know, contracts, legal documents, user employee information, business plans, project data, financial records, etc. They basically admitted they have the tax records, they have like business plans, aka what they want to release in terms of, let's say, gaming, anime, light novels, etc. They potentially have data for years. Like, just judging by how massive that file is, they theoretically could release stuff that, you know, might not have been announced for another two years from now, maybe even four years because like just in anime space alone if you're looking at just like the anime space of what katakawa works with as a producer they probably have stuff and knowing what they're going to produce maybe four years down the the railroad track like they, they know like maybe there might be an 86 season two maybe releasing in 2027 or something like they they know what they're scheduling for they just uh they haven't announced it yet until we get closer so this data also could release a bunch of stuff like that so as much as i feel bad i'm not gonna lie a part of me is interested to see kind of what you know information in terms of gaming anime and light novels will be leaked but should it have happened no i still think it's very scummy i don't think this is okay etc but uh i guess if you're wondering exactly how this affects you i guess if you really don't care about the situation of the whole hacking etc you might get information on a bloodborne 2 or something maybe elden ring 2 who knows but uh yeah i just i wanted to bring this to people's attention this is literally making a lot of waves now on internet coverage a lot of people are now starting to find out and talk about this and uh i'm curious to see what katakawa is going to do and what's going to happen this upcoming monday because obviously this is an ongoing story this is something that is just now happening and you know we, we'll find out this monday exactly the the ramifications of everything that's going on here but i'll leave it at that Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my content and you want more of my content to appear in your subscription feed, then please do subscribe. Do leave a like on the video. Leave a comment as well. Thank you so much. Be safe. Stay healthy. Chibi out.